Hi, good day, and welcome to Farming Live Australia. Today we're going to be putting out seed in the paddocks that I lightly dished. They're both hay paddocks, and this is Stylo, which is a type of legume. I'm going to put some of that out. We haven't had that before, we're going to give it a try. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to cover the hay paddocks with Tolga Roads again, overseed it with that. And we've used this before, that's what's in there now mostly, other than a few other sorts of grasses that have crept in. In here we've got a bucket of DAP fertiliser and it weighs 9.4 kilos. We'll try and fill them up a little bit more and make them around 10. I'll work out how much seed I want to put on them. For each bucket of fertiliser I'll put the right amount of seed and we'll mix it together and then put it in the fertiliser spreader. So to mix the fertiliser up with the seed what we do is we put it on a tarp and mix it up. So we put it on a bucket of fertiliser Okay, I've worked out the ratio, put on half a kilo of stylo seed and I've got to put on, so we mix the stylo seed and the road seed through that at the appropriate amount. Make sure it's well mixed so we get a good even coverage. Then another bucket of fertiliser and again we'll mix the appropriate seed with that. I know this seems like we're going to a lot of trouble but it is important if you want a good even coverage that you mix it really thoroughly and evenly. Considering that this grass and stylo is going to be in the ground for probably the next four or five years, it's worth taking a bit of extra care with. So we've mixed it all evenly now and we'll, we'll fold the tarp up and use the tarp to put it in the spreader. A better way to do this is, is a cement mixer just a little cement mixer and throw your, all your stuff in and mix it up. Unfortunately we just don't have one available at the moment so I've got to do it this way. This spreader tends to spread the seed and fertiliser about three metres out either side of the tractor. So you need to drive in rows up and down about six metres apart to get a good even coverage. What I do is just put a little bit of seed out and I go over it twice. That way I'm sure that I get a real good even coverage. This is the drag that I've got for behind the tractor for 
burying the seed just under the ground and what it is is truck tyres chained together with old anchor chain of a trawler and you can see it's in a triangle shape it works really well I'm really happy with it we've just about completed the job now all I have to do is just do this last paddock with the drag and I'm off now and running all we need to add to the recipe now is a good rain and in 10 days to 2 weeks we should have some new plants come up thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Life Australia we'll catch you next time